Hey guys, this is Pedro back with another interview covering the LEC 2024 summer split. For this occasion, I'm here uh, accompanied by Zyro, the mid laner for Team Heretics, who are coming off of a loss uh, to uh, uh, Mad Lion to Koi at the end of the first week of said split. Um, Zyro, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, unfortunate that you guys ended this first week on the loss, but uh, first question, how are you feeling? I feel kind of bad, not gonna lie, like, uh, just bad feelings overall, that's all. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, l looking how the, the, the series, the, the series, not the match played out, I mean, what do you think was the biggest obstacle that the, that the team kind of encountered in that match uh, against your opponents? What was the biggest? I think ourselves and out, uh, outplaying ourselves. I believe, like, our draft was bad, but. I don't believe like you're winning by draft. Like in the way, like I think if you're a really good team, you can make every like draft playable or stuff like this. But we got solo killed on bot, which was bad. Then we out uh, outplayed ourselves on top when we know why is there. Then I didn't do like enough of me like pressure and like maybe I choose I I could just feast more right. I think the everyone just kind of played average bad and then we get like behind and it's just hard to play. Yeah, I mean, it really was um, something that just happened like that for this team. And just sort of going into detail, if you if you are able to just sort of, what do you think just was the cause for the team to just be in that kind of state, play uh, uh, as play uh, as you played and just um, performing as as such. I mean, we always play to the la last. Blood in the way you know, like you play till your Nexus explode. Of course, it's hard to uh, keep emotions, but I think like emotions in the pro play doesn't exist. I believe like if you're a pro player, like whatever they give you, just play it right. So like we we start bad, but we still uh, go for the win, right? We could in this game, and that's just unlucky. Yeah, just unlucky indeed, and just sort of now focusing not just on, on this match, but it's also the entire series or the entire week overall for this team. Finishing oh, one and two, um, you guys said that um, opening match win over Giant X, but then you guys failed to BDS and then obviously right now um, against Mad Lions. How do you kind of view the team's overall performance just sort of this entire week um, in a general sense? I think our performance was giga average in the way of, like, I would say poor. But uh, it started of the week, you know, like, stuff like this. I would say the Giants game was close to average poor. Then the, uh, I think BDS game was good, but we got surprised by the swap. And as well, like, uh, we did many decisions that, like, made us lose the game, right? But in that game, I felt like, Actually, BDS is not that good, at least in my feeling. Like, we had this game if we actually just played better. But today, I think we played really average and below, like, everything. So I would say, like, overall, like, I think it's below fine, you know, like, the way we played. And we need to work on a lot of things, you know. But we are aware of it, and I think that's the most important uh, thing, you know. No, for, for, I understand that. And yeah... Uh... Now I just kind of want to now focus on just how the team was moving on from end of spring to now the summer. Of course, you know, looking at how the team uh, fared in the previous split, you guys were finished um, fifth place, just outside of just contending for the top spots in the domestic league. And so, um, what do you think? How do you kind of look back on the team's performance in spring, uh, looking at the pros and cons and stuff? And so. And also how you guys kind of then adjusted and, and just improved from those kind of obstacles in preparation for summer. I mean, I think the most important is the scrims. In my opinion, you should play at least like 70-80% scrims like you would play official game. Because that's how you take most from them. And I think we are improving on it. I would say it's still low on my like, uh, let's say, rules, what I, I would say. Uh, last bit, I think we had like... Not the best performance in the uh, playoffs because I felt like the other game that I played uh, against Fnatic, we should for sure win. There is no way we lose this game. So, like, I really think, like, if we just perform a bit better, we could win this game, right? And this split, we are uh, as well didn't show the best performance. 
as a team as and as a players and i think we just need to get to the back to the work like t- take uh, screen really serious and just improve from there what about for yourself in particular you know was there anything that you kind of looked at within your game that you um um tweaked as in adjusted simultaneously if, uh, again again it's sort of same question as I asked before, but mostly just focusing on yourself, you know, any changes for you in particular? I mean, I think for me, I take uh, screens really serious, so how about this? Of course, I can always improve about this, but for me, I think it's the most important is laning phase and uh, late game or mid game openings, because I think laning phase actually like when I'm watching Provio and EU meets compared to the uh, like uh, China, LCK mid laners, like we are so back, you know, like so, so back, like, <laughs> so I think I just want to like uh, keep grinding, you know, just uh, steal everything the best what I can see from them, like LPL Provio is back, you know, so I'm really happy to watch it. My goal is like just to like keep working on laning phase and like become the best mid laner, but it's really hard, right? But I'm down to do it, you know, like I'm down to like uh, pay the hours that I need to pay to like just uh, keep being better. So for me, it's laning phase and uh, mid lane, uh, mid late game uh, macro game. And then I think we are good. You just mentioned a little bit about the LPO observing that. Uh, has there been any top lane that you kind of got your attention or is it just maybe, maybe like the, the big boys, the big top lane like Bin 369 and stuff like that? You mean top laners or like uh, the mid laners that are like the best? Oh. Mid lane is my best. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I mean, I think uh, when you watch Rookie, Provio, this guy is so much better than others. Like, of course, like Trophy, I can't see right now, but I think like when you watch uh, Rookie, and you can really compare him to uh, Trophy. Like th- these two mid laners are oh, unlucky. Like they, they are really good, and you can see the difference between them and Scout, for example. Like they are just so good. Oh yeah, for sure. And how do you kind of look at the difference between like? Um... LPL kind of players and yourself in particular, you know, uh, and and, and what do you think that kind of gap or like difference looks like um, between those two things? Okay, so let's say the difference is like this is my level, like in the length, and their level is like this, you know, like it's over the camera, like let's not like, you know, like we are so far behind, like I think they are really good, like they, they always know what they want to do, they always know how to trade, so I think. If you, if I need to play like uh, against LPL mid laner right now, I'm probably like bronze and his challenger, right? But it doesn't mean in two weeks we are not on the same level, right? Maybe not same. Maybe I'm a bit like below, you know, like maybe like this below, like you know. But I can still make it work, you know. But for now, I would say like they are way better than most mids. Maybe I think Caps could match them because he's really aggressive and he knows actually how he wants to trade. But the rest of mid laners, I didn't see this thing in them that I saw in Rookie, for example, you know? Like, if, when you t- open just his uh, preview, you insta see it. Okay. Uh, I, I also now want to touch upon just how you've been um, fitting in with the rest of the team in Heretics, given the fact that you joined um, earlier on in March uh, before the start of the spring split. It might be wrong. You can correct me on that if, if you can. But um, how'd you kind of um, see in your progression just playing w- with the rest of, uh, of the squad and just taking in the experience of, of being in the LEC? How do you kind of look at that difference from when you started out to now? I mean, I think the main difference is right now that we are more as a team, I would say. We su- support each other and stuff like this. But like as you see, we couldn't perform for some reason. So I think like we just need to find out uh, why and like why it's not, you know, like working as it should. Uh, I mean, I just feel better as uh, in this team right now than it was like in spring. Of course, I, I joined in the like bad moment and stuff like this. So maybe it was like the reason why, right? What do you think is the one thing that you feel you had to adjust the most from now until week two and just everything beyond that, just so that heretics can be at, at a better position and just contend and show a better version of themselves than, than today? I think for this, this is really good, easy fix. I think if you uh, make like out of five screams, five of them are like really like, uh, I miss the word, like we can use them really good, you know, like, and we can actually improve from them. I think that's enough because like most teams are using like, let's say one or two screams because like, that's how it works. Like, you know, like the players are not like full on the, the screams. When I should be, as I said, I think it should be 70, 80%. 
Okay. And hopefully you guys are able to just improve and just build and be a better version of yourselves in the long run uh, for the team. And also, but most importantly, for yourselves, Zyro. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this interview right here. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, best of luck goes to, to the team, but most importantly for yourself. Thank you so much. And I hope next time when you see us, you can, you can be proud, you know, like you can be, I can be proud and you can be proud of us.